Welcome to my house. This is my latest project that I've been working on for the past year and a half. It was a very sad house when I bought it. It hadn't been touched for nearly 40 years, but I fell in love with this sweeping staircase and there are many other beautiful features that I'll show you. Now this room was barely used at all by the previous owners and the kitchen was through there. It was tiny for the size of the house. So I moved the kitchen into here and made this into a little family room, obviously with the dining here and also the island, and got rid of the two pokey windows that were over there and opened it out for the birds on the So in the summertime, they can literally step out once the garden's been finished. favourite rooms in the house, the drawing room, and I had to fight to keep this beautiful original Victorian cornice because when we took the anaglypt paper down, the ceiling was in such a state, the builder wanted to rip it down and plasterboard it. So definitely worth saving. And then I got rid of the dirty blue colour and just lightened it up a bit and renovated the fireplace. Now just a gorgeous living space. have to appreciate the handrail because I spent days stripping the paint off that. A complete backache. And as we walk through here, this takes you to where the main bathroom was originally, except it stopped along here. So I opened this out, added a shower because there wasn't a single shower in the house, and made sure that there was storage space for uh, all my toiletries. And then removed this fireplace from upstairs to add to the chimney here to make a real feature of this room. And I just love this bathroom. And this is the bedroom. So this had yellow walls, um, an old blue carpet and mismatching headboards. So I decided to make it a gray and white Regency style bedroom and it's perfect for my full poster bed, a very relaxing place to be. So that's just a quick peek at my current renovation. You're yet to see the dining room, six further bedrooms, um, the garden and various other areas, but it's a work in progress at the moment. So I'll show you more in each video and take you through the finer details and also how I achieved them. So if that has whet your appetite, don't forget to go to georginaburnett.com forward slash subscribe and I'll let you know each time I post a video. So hopefully you and I will be seeing each other soon.